Hey everyone, here to introduce um, chapter 10. Um, in chapter 10, it's a short chapter, thankfully. There are four lessons and the, the topic of chapter 10 is graphics. Um, graphs, sorry, um, which are graphic ways, visual ways to represent information. We are primarily concerned with numerical information, numbers. Um, many of the concepts that we learned in chapter nine, things like range and mean, median, and mode, um, are going to be seen and possibly asked for with these visual representations. So the lessons are broken up into different types of graphs. Okay, so our first lesson, lesson 10.1, um, has to do with stem and leaf plots. And hopefully you had a moment to look at the first ladies and the president's um, little picture, table, notepad that I posted on this assignment. Um, we're going to take those two examples and put those ages into a stem and leaf plot. Okay, and then we'll talk about how we can find different things like mean, median, mode, how we can find um, range, what generalizations we might be able to make, and so on. Okay, so a stem and leaf plot is a visual way to organize information. The way that a stem and leaf is that is organized, it is organized in numerical order, so from least to greatest. More often than not, we are arranged into two different columns. We call this the stem and this the leaf or the leaves. There's going to be more than one. Um, more often than not, that stem is your tens place value, and then the leaves are going to be your ones place value. We do sometimes, very rarely, see that a little bit differently. Like possibly this is the, the tens, like it's something greater than 100, for instance. Um, and maybe sometimes we see decimals, okay? But those are very few and far between. We're not gonna be spending um, our energy on things like that. We're gonna be looking at the more traditional ones you see most of the time. So we have here um, the stem and here the leaf, okay? So this is going to represent those first lady ages. Um, on the little memo pad, it had like the White House letterhead. Um, were the ages of 22 different first ladies. Not all of our first ladies, but a good chunk of them, ranging from, I think the year was 1885 until most recently was Michelle Obama, okay? The way they are written on that notepad is in chronological order, time order, okay? Just what president or what first lady came after what first lady. Um, what we've done or what I've done is taking all of those ages and I've sorted them in numerical order to put them in this stem and leaf plot, okay? We have first lady ages that range from 21 being the youngest um, and then the oldest being 63, okay, so far in our nation's history. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you how we can create a stem and leaf plot with those first lady ages that I posted on this assignment. So we have one particular first lady that was 21 years old. So the two represents the 20, it's the tens place value, and I'm going to put a one here, okay? That was one uh, first lady that was in her 20s and that was it. The next first lady is actually 31 years old, okay? And that was actually Jackie Kennedy. She was 31, okay? She was the only president, or excuse me, first lady who was in her 30s. So now we're jumping up to the 40s, okay? We have a first lady who was 40, so I'm going to put a zero here. And then there's quite a few others that are in their 40s. So what I'm going to be listing is each and every one of the ages. So I have one that's 40, the next is 44, notice there's no comma in between, the next is 45, we have another who's 45, so we list it again. We have two that are 48 and two that are 49, okay? So in other words, so far, we have a first lady, lady who is 21, one who is 31, 40, 44, 45, and so on, okay? On to the 50s. There were quite a few who were in their 50s as well. We have one in there, one who is 50, 52, uh, two that were 54, four that were 56, one, 
two, three, four, and one that was 59. Okay, so again, this is reading as 50, 52, 54. And this is how old they were when their husband took office, okay, in the inauguration um, or election. I don't know what it says. Either way. Um, and then we have three first ladies who were in their 60s. We have two that were 60 on the dot. And then we have one that was 63. Okay, so with this information, I wish I could zoom in more, I'm sorry. With this information, we could go ahead and answer things like range. Our oldest was 63, youngest is 21, so we could subtract. Um, you could be asked how many first ladies are listed. In that case, we would be counting our leaves, okay, because that will tell us how many there are. Uh, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Okay? Which is also a good way to check your work because looking at that table, it was two columns of 11. I know I had to have 22. Okay? We could go ahead and figure out median if we wanted to. A little bit annoying with this, but we can do it. We would cross off the smallest, biggest, next smallest, next biggest, next smallest, next biggest, and so on until we got to that middle number, okay? We could find the mean. Again, a little annoying, but we could do it. We could add 21 plus 31 plus 40 and so on, okay? Um, so there is quite a bit of information that we can find out looking at a stem and leaf plot, okay? Let's take a look at the president's ages, okay? With the president's ages, let me scoot down a little bit here. Um, there was no need to be in the 20s because there were no presidents who took office in their 20s. Okay, we still have the stem here representing the tens, and we have our leaf here representing the ones. Okay. Um, oh, we actually don't need the three here either. I apologize. We could have just started with the four. Okay, because there were no presidents who took office in their 30s either. Our youngest president who took office was 42, okay, followed by 43, 46, and two that were 47. Okay, fun fact, the 42-year-old was actually Teddy Roosevelt, who was the vice president uh, to McKinley. McKinley was assassinated, so he took office, or he, he became president, but John F. Kennedy at 43 was actually our youngest elected president, so trivia fact right there. Um, moving on to the 50s, we have um, 50s is our, has the most uh, presidents the, who took office. Most of them were in their 50s. So we have quite a few. We've got three that were 51. We've got one that was 52. We've got three that were 54. One, two, three, four. We've got three that were 55 and two that were 56. And then we've got a few in their 60s as well, okay? 60, 61, 62, 64, 69, okay? So same thing. We can go ahead and figure out those same pieces of information, like how many presidents are represented. We could figure out mean, median, mode, range. We could find out all of these things um, with our stem and leaf plot for our presidents as well. Same thing with our first ladies, okay? One thing that you might be asked, too, is to compare them, okay? Um, which one has greater variation, or what do you notice? Um, something that we might notice about the presidents compared to the first ladies is that the presidents tend to be a little bit older, okay, than the first ladies, okay? Um, one thing we can, outside of math class, uh, an observation that can account for this is the fact that we have a constitutional um, amendment or a rule that says you have to be 35 in order to be president. There's no rule on how old you need to be to be first lady, which is why we don't see any president's ages 35 or younger, okay? We actually don't see any in their 30s thus far. So that would be one um, implication of why these look a little bit different, okay? Some similarities, however, is that in both, we see that the 50s tend to be the most popular decade, the most popular range of ages, okay? Um, 
first ladies would be maybe 40s and 50s. Um, presidents would be, you know, 50s and 60s, actually some 40s as well. So you could draw some conclusions or some similarities. You could draw some differences between them. So today's assignment, you've got a little bit of practice of just sorting these into both stem and leaf. And I will see you at two o'clock to go over them. See you later. See you then.